Hello. We're here uh, at the uh, at the show here, looking at the new S7 series, the new Super Series combines from Gleaner. I want to talk about uh, uh, the new processor that we have in here in the new S7 series, because what the customers are looking for out there, what they are uh, asking us to deliver on, is greater capacity, uh, but at the same time do it in a uh, a way that keeps the size uh, of the machine and the weight of the machine. Uh, uh, as low as possible. We've been able to do that and what we're looking at here is really the heart and soul of the new S7 series, what we call the Tritura processor. And I'm going to talk a little bit about that if I can because the first thing you'll notice when you take a look in here at the new processor is that the diameter of the the rotor and the diameter of the cage or the processor has now been increased. We've gone from what was 25 inches now to 30 inches in diameter. The 30-inch diameter gives us 20% larger uh, in the way of uh, uh, size of the uh, diameter of the rotor versus what we had in the old R6 series. A couple things to, to note here is the first thing you're going to notice is in the new processor is the new four-section 17-bar concave. This new uh, concave delivers 10% more uh, threshing area uh, than we had in the previous R6 series uh, combine. In addition to that, with the larger diameter here, the total threshing and separating area in this combine has now been increased by 21% to over 6,047 square inches of threshing and separating area. The important thing to realize is because this is a higher capacity combine now and the larger diameter uh, we now are able to increase the cubic inches of volume inside this processor by 48 percent. That means we can handle more crop and we can handle more uh, uh, throughput uh, than we obviously had with the old R6 series. Once the crop is threshed and separated, the next very important part of this heart and soul of the, uh, of the new S series is the two distribution augers. In the new S7 series, what we have done is we've actually moved these distribution augers away from each other. We've reconfigured them so that we can slow the distribution augers down. We don't run them as fast. And by doing that, we can actually get more effective flow of material to our exclusive accelerator rolls. By slowing that down, we also, at the same time, more efficiently can feed our, our larger diameter rolls, and the accelerator rolls uh, now are 25% larger in diameter than the old R6 series. By doing this, we, we can now uh, add another flute, uh, rubber flute to the uh, accelerator roll, and we can now move more material at four times the speed of free fall than we could on the, uh, the R6 series. So again, the, the, the higher capacity means more uh, uh, harvesting rate, faster harvesting rate for the, uh, for the farmer. The important thing that we gain here is that with the distribution and accelerator roll technology, we are now able to deliver even a better grain sample with higher throughputs than we could in the old R6 series combine. So in essence, this is a big major change uh, to the uh, to the S7 series, and one of the reasons why this combine right now today will deliver a greater uh, efficiency, greater productivity uh, for our future customers.